Hello and welcome back. Steel Pings here once again. And today I have a little sneak peek into the Pinnings Lock Shop. And today I'm going to show some of my padlocks. And these are mainly um, kick cylinder padlocks that have been, you know, implemented into um, padlocks. So some are made, some are made by me, and some are made to accept different types of cylinders, but are still interchangeable. But these are my padlocks that have interchangeable cores independently, which are not like the SFIC. I have one LFIC and one SFIC, and then three that accept Euro cylinders, and two that accept uh, specialty cylinders for them in particular and two that take snowman cylinders and snowman cylinders are very common in Ruko and Zeiss Icon uh, those style uh, padlocks so going from there these are all high security locks and with that being said all high security locks are high security for a reason and we'll start off with some of the ones that don't take um, the kick cylinder cores. Now, kick cylinders are the most versatile of the cores, at least here in the States. It can be used in a majority of different padlocks. It can be used in a majority of different deadbolts, mortise lock. Well, not, well, even some mortise. Um, rim cylinders they can they can be instituted into any of those formats and that's some of the cool things about a kick cylinder so let's move into some of the ones that I got here that have their own specialty cylinder that'd be the sergeant Kiso now the Kiso original has the Kiso key with all of the little dimples fits in perfectly and works the lock beautifully now, um, there's a guy on eBay currently that has some of these that are brand new old stock in long and short uh, shackle, uh, new with two keys. And I believe the short shackle ones are about 40 to 50 bucks, the long shackle are 50 to 60 bucks in that area. Not positive, I'm not selling them. Now, this one here is a beautiful Kaba padlock that, um, uh, works beautifully and slick if I can figure out how to take the key out again there it goes and works the lock beautifully and this is the one I rekeyed in a prior video with one of the cores I received from oh Bill Bacardi and he got it from Chris the one or um, at the top of the pick so moving on from there we have these two, which are snowman cores, and the snowman core is pretty simple, it's pretty simple, it's got a snowman shaped core. And this one is the D12, the Asa D12, which is one of the meanest um, keyways you'll find. Uh, some people have been able to pick them using um, dimple picks. I personally have a hard time with this one because they're all extremely low cuts and so even getting back to them if you touch one you overset it quite nasty and then this one is one I I had gotten from a, an old friend and it had a standardized uh, core in it and I made a, a ASA twin six yeah six thousand for it and works it beautifully now um, this one is a Ruko 2 and this one is a Zeiss Icon. Um, the size difference is just a little bit longer. Both cores can fit into each other. Then I have these three here. These three take um, European profile cylinders. And it's a multi-lock here. And it's the interactive with the, which one? 
the 115 keyway, which is opposite side that it normally would. And this is a, a multi-lock padlock, the G series, I believe. Um, I picked this one and rekeyed it to this key. I got it from uh, Trekmaster. Thanks again, Trekmaster, for this beautiful little lock. This one here is a Tessa. And I have the original Tessa core, and I have a couple other cooler Tessa cores. And then I got this really awesome Dom core that has the spelled out Dom keyway in it. And this kind of spells out Dom, D O M. And uh, I went ahead and changed it out with this one. I was going to change it out with uh, a Tessa twin core or a Tessa dimple core if I ever find one. And until then, I'll keep it a Dom. <laughs> This one here is a really cool lock, and it doesn't say on the lock itself who the maker or whatever, but it takes a year of profile core, and the one in this one is an EVA 3KS. And the 3KS is an awesome slider lock, some of the very hardest to pick. Only a few people have been able to. They are extremely high security, but they have now came out with a 4KS which is even more so a couple crazy ones there then to go along with the odds that's these two here which is an American lock uh, 1405 which is the long shackle and I've got in it a multi lock large format Yale style or large format Interchangeable core and a Yale profile. There we go. Uh, works the lock up beautifully. It's a little bit short for the lock. It's set up for the 6th, 7th pinner. But I've got this one keyed special as this side opens the lock. And if you turn it over, this side works the lock in control. Pretty awesome. Uh oh, I might have foxed it. The little end piece, yeah. The little tail. That's how it works. Okay. There we go. So I've got to figure out a way to make that little tail stay in it more permanently in one place. But that is an awesome little lock there, the 1405s. Uh, it also takes the uh, large format. Uh, seven pin. I've got this one picked. I've got to try and get it to go back to get it to control to pull it out and rekey it. Um, I've picked it a hundred times if I've picked it once trying to get it to that control. You know how control can be though, right? Now, moving on from there, I have this little beauty. And this is a Schlage with a um, Primus uh, Everest Primus, sorry. It's got the Everest symbol and Primus, of course. And it's in a uh, C145 keyway. I'll get it to go in there. Works the lock beautifully. And this is one of my happy, happy, happy locks. Um, they have operating and control key for it. Ta da! And. I couldn't be happier with that one either. Very, very happy with that one. Now moving on from there. I have these two. And the rest of these are all going to be kick cylinders used in a padlock. And this one is a sergeant kick cylinder and has the full signature. Has uh, two full sidebars, one on each side, six pins, all gin bottle sergeants. Very similar to the gin bottle asses. It has the feather on the core itself and on the key to match in the top corner here. Okay. Anyhow, a beautiful lock. Now these don't come out independent core like if you switch keys. They're both just operating keys. You have to take it out with a screw down the center hole and it'll remove the uh, kick cylinder from it. 
which is an awesome kick cylinder lock to have is the sergeant going from there I have this uh, American locks is 3600 with the Vinkhaus pretty awesome keyway in that one too They're really hard to get to you got to work off of that little ledge right there and be careful of that top ledge there you kind of got to go at an angle very difficult especially with a high high up down up down bidding it does have side pins on both sides which are key controlled only though but an awesome little padlock then i've got another um american lock 3600 and uh, this one has a dimple core in it it has the kaba gemini core uh, Kaba is also owned by Lori, and so it's the Kaba Lori Gemini S Abloy now. No, Sergeant, I don't know what Kaba owns now. So, but a beautiful little lock. And this has the round full cylinder, just like the cylinders that are in these. And uh, what you have to do is they make these in solid brass. I had these 3D printed that will screw down on top of the core which makes it a kick cylinder and work just like a kick and that holds it in there pretty neat uh, of course you know brass and uh, plastic are two way different substances and the brass would hold it in a lot better but it's still going to hold it in just fine I mean as far as drill power a drill's going to drill through that brass just as fast as it's going to drill through that plastic really uh, unless you got something hard in there like hardened steel inserts, which you can put in um, You can put uh, screws down in the back too and a hardened insert in the top and boy how they're not going to get through it very easy Nonetheless moving on from there I've got this really big beast and it's a master lock that I've modified It's a master 6627 and it's massive my hands are pretty good size and this thing pretty much fits in my hand and the best thing about it is yeah, figure this out there we go it has an ass I mean an abloy core in it and it's the abloy classic and look at all those cuts just amazing and we do it like that and it opens right up it's a beautiful little lock if it had the closed shackle, it'd be one of the most formidable locks around because it's master lock tough, which is tough under fire. They don't kid there, but their cores are junk. When you change out that core with a non-junk, and you got a monster. So that's the plus there. Uh, here, I've got an, a little Abus KNK. 83 KNK 50. And the KNK is like the RKIK. Uh, key and knob type of thing it's it's kick cylinder and I've put a Primus with the uh, I don't remember what keyway that is not sure but it's got a nice hook to it and it's got the Primus core in it which is a monster in its own beautiful little lock there it's not very strong as far as you know size Abus makes a very strong lock to, to, to end with anyhow, so it's a monster. Um, this one here is another Abus. It's a 83K and K55. And it's a lot bigger than the 50. It's taller, wider, fatter, and the 55 inches or centimeters, millimeters instead of 50. And I've got an interactive plus in this one. Beautiful little dimple lock works the lock beautifully what a massive lock and again if this thing had a closed shackle a total monster uh, now these two are some a couple of my favorite kick cylinders and y'all can see by the key on this one what exactly it is and it is a, an Australian figure this out here an Australian bylock works the lock beautifully and then this padlock was originally a uh, Medico 
and I took the Medco um, M3 kick cylinder out of it. Got it around here somewhere too. So just need another padlock to put one in. This one's kind of I'm just decorating it. But works the lock like I said. I'm the happy spot. There it is. Ha ha. And this one which is in a new standard 2000 brass padlock with a hardened steel shackle and it is a kick cylinder with a nasty little core to it and it's the Corbin Russwin M Hart and with a nasty jagged up down bidding I've managed to pick this one a couple times never in a decent amount of time to get it on camera but is one of my favorite little one of my favorite little locks though with a kick cylinder in it awesome so now that I've shared my high security padlocks and it isn't all of them by any means I mean look up here those are higher security if you will but these are the interchangeable kick cylinder cores and a couple of the slightly different where it takes a profile or a LFIC SFIC or even the W series in the SFIC. FSL. You know, there's too many SFLMDs, you know? <laughs> I'm going to sign off of that before I get more tongue tied and screw the video up. Y'all, please stay safe and always stay legit. If you like this video and like what I do here, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until we meet again, peace.